Hey everybody, Bruce here with Wanna Be Free. It's been a while since I've done a video. I've just been real busy and haven't had any uh, trips in the van recently, so I didn't have a whole lot to show. But it's starting to get cooler around here. We're seeing first signs of snow. I thought this would be a good opportunity to put up a video and show you guys uh, what I have planned for the heater in the van. Not that I'm going to be doing any winter traveling so much, but uh, for those of you who are considering putting a heater in your van, if you don't already have one, maybe, maybe this will give you some ideas. So what you're looking at is uh, a Camco 57331 Olympian Wave 3 heater. Apparently, uh, I did some research for the to, so I could make this video, and apparently, Camco has uh, or Olympian, I guess it is, uh, discontinued this heater. So you can currently buy this heater. It's in stock on Amazon right now for a hundred and seventy-two dollars and ninety-five cents, fifty-three percent off, and that is also with uh, free shipping. I paid $202 for mine in the middle of the summer. I thought that'd be a good time to buy a heater, but um, apparently this is a better time. So if you're considering this and you have interest in it, um, you can get it right now. Amazon, $172.95. No, I don't work for Camco or Olympian or anybody else. I'm just trying to give you guys a heads up on uh, what I think is a pretty good buy. I think I saw... Um, another van dweller had one of these. Who the heck was that? Uh, one awesome inch. I think he's got one of these hanging in his van. And he, he probably has used his by now. I have not used it. I mean, I fired it up here in the garage and tried it out. It seems to work. I don't know, uh, with it being discontinued, or at least that's what it says on Amazon, what that's going to do, but <clears throat> hopefully it'll last me several years and I won't have to worry too much about that. But let me tell you a few things about it. It's uh, the, the Wave 3 is the smallest one that they make. <clears throat> they make two other sizes that are larger. And I don't know what their status is for uh, discontinued or whatnot. I don't think the company's out of business. But this particular one is uh, 1600 adjustable to 3000 BTUs. And uh, supposedly it's capable of heating 130 square foot space, which is more than adequate for a van. It operates on low pressure gas. No electricity is required. There's no fan. And it's silent because there's no blower fan. It uh, is a catalytic heater. And it is 99.98% efficient. <clears throat> It has radiant heat, so it heats like the sun. What it does supposedly is uh, doesn't necessarily heat the air. It heats the objects around it or the objects that it's pointed at. And then the radiant heat comes off of those objects. It consumes 1.8 pounds of fuel per hour. So I have a one pound can sitting there. And the way I figure that, we're looking at... Uh, what eight hours potential so I think that uh, it'll it'll run all night on low setting and the dimensions it's 11 and 3 quarter inches high by 10 and a quarter inches wide three and a half inches deep and it weighs six pounds I got the optional leg stands that you can see at the bottom there the dust cover they recommend a cover <clears throat> because dust will harm the uh, the radiant pad over time and I also got a six inch hose and this one has the uh, low pressure regulator included <clears throat> now this hose is made for a, uh, a regular propane tank like a barbecue grill type tank and then what I did was I bought this adapter because I intend on <clears throat> or at least my plan is to use these one pound cans and that'll fit on that and my thought was set this thing up on the box in between my seats and point it toward the toward the bed with this hose six foot hose out the window and the can hanging off the end of it or I could put the the can under 
up in the front on the floorboard or something and then heat that way now these radiant heaters apparently do not put out uh, carbon monoxide I'm gonna have a carbon monoxide detector in the van just in case but they do consume oxygen so they recommend that you have 24 inches of free air opening so open a window they recommend a high and low so I'm gonna open up the vent the fantastic vent a couple inches and then a side window and supposedly that should be good to go one of these days I'm gonna actually run this thing in the van and test it out maybe just in the garage or in the driveway here and uh, and then I can give you some more results <clears throat> on how that works out but let me pull the cover off and let you have a look at it if I can get the cover off oh yeah velcro in here and that's what it looks like so it has a PZO push to start sparker and then a control valve for high and low start off high and low <clears throat> and then that that pad there just uh, the, the fuel fills up through the pad and it radiates heat and it, and it will have somewhat of a glow to it once it's fired up and up to temperature on the back it's got some mounting holes so you can mount this on a wall or you can go with the optional stands legs like what I've got on there <coughs> the uh, clearances four inches from each side required 18 inches from the top to the nearest combustible item and then uh, from the floor what does it say here four inches from the floor and zero on the back so it can be mounted directly to the wall in front of it 30 inches so almost two and a half three feet from the front should be your nearest item that's combustible and I think I can make that happen in the van even though it is a small somewhat confined space of course like I said it's regulator so you need to have a regulator hose like this one here and I'm gonna run off these uh, one pounders because I have several of them and then when they empty I got one of these adapters in order to fill my one pound cans from like a 20 pound bottle I haven't done that yet seen a lot of YouTube videos of it if you're interested go check that out uh, the bottom line is if you buy these cans it's actually three to five times maybe that those numbers aren't correct but it's a lot more expensive to buy the cans than it is to actually real refill them from a 20 pound tank much much cheaper to go that route so that's my plan I've got several of the 20 pound tanks laying around and uh, with this adapter I can just refill these cans or these uh, one pounders Maybe, uh, I don't know, if I'm going to go for a week, I'll fill up seven, seven of these and uh, really have cheap, economical, efficient heat in the van for those cold nights. You can also heat, you know, other spaces with this, campers, RVs, um, whatever, sheds, that sort of thing. But it says 130 square feet for this small one. So that is the plan guys and that's the new heater that I intend to uh, use in the van at some point. <clears throat> what else can I say about this thing? Um, if you're interested in it and you think it's a pretty good deal, 172 bucks right now on sale through Amazon. I know a lot of people are using the buddy heaters and those are quite popular with the van dwellers. The only reason I didn't go with a buddy heater is I just thought that this would be better and I would kind of double the usage of this and use it in my uh, camper on on my uh, off-grid property which also I have not done I just been too busy to uh, take advantage of that but with the efficiency and the uh, and the heat capabilities I think it's more than adequate for a van and uh, there you go Maybe uh, one awesome inch will do a 
a review on his after he uses it and uh, give us a better idea of its uh, capabilities and how he likes it. Uh, what else? Running up just about 10 minutes, guys. I guess I'm going to cut this off here. Stay tuned. I've been real busy. I know I haven't been putting out many videos recently. Um, and that's a bummer for my subscribers. I understand that. But I'm still full full time employed. Uh, big plans for the beginning of next year. Uh, plan on a move. And um, I've got a small house that we purchased that uh, needs some renovation. And a couple van trips involved with uh, the move and so forth. So hopefully I'll get you guys some good content here in the near future. For the most part for the winter here I'm going to be... Um, just working and uh, working and working, you know, daily grind. So, hope everyone out there is doing well. Again, a big thanks to the subscribers. I'm sneaking up on a thousand subscribers on this particular channel, and uh, that's pretty awesome. I hope you guys are all doing good and uh, travel safe and take care. See ya.